Right. So I want to go in here and I want to do reports. For Tom Dittis, this isn't just a job. It's a dream come true. I really do have a great gig. He's got a busy lunch rush, a scenic view, and a great location along the river. But getting the spot at 18th and Riverside wasn't easy. Very competitive process because there were 12 groups that, that actually were interested in doing this development on the river. Fast forward a year and a half later, Blue Rose is here. And we would welcome some company down here, absolutely. Doing so has been a mission of the city's for a while, especially in the Festival Park area on the west side of the river. Initially, we attempted to get the private sector to give us some ideas on, on what they thought it could be used for, that area. But there was the economy. They had other commitments, financial commitments, and they didn't feel like they could afford another one. Still, city leaders haven't given up. Now they're starting again. By hiring a firm to come up with a river master plan. See what they would recommend that we do regarding planning. Uh, set some areas aside uh, for a variety of purposes, whether it's residential or commercial or uh, amusement uh, related entertainment. Under one condition the river parks, festival park, that they be left alone. We don't want, to, want those negatively impacted. Also coming? Upgrades to the river trails on South Riverside and on the west side. And... River Parks is working closely with the county's consulting engineers to renovate Zinc Dam. Uh, that's still dependent on state funding. Plus, there are big plans for the area between 26th and 31st on Riverside. The George Kaiser Foundation plans to turn the area into a park of sorts. It's had several meetings to seek public input before releasing any final plans. It's called the Gathering Place. The project could come in at $150 million. Very well thought out, very amazing, and, and to be mostly privately funded, so that's even more exciting. The idea is to break ground in 2014. So, from better trails, more parks, and more places to dine and visit, it looks like the plans for river development are starting to flow in. You got a soup today or chili or gumbo? And Tom hopes new neighbors come with it. The mayor has also formed a river task force. It's made up of different people with all different backgrounds and areas of expertise. He's hoping they'll give him some good recommendations by the end of the year. We'll be sure to keep you posted. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you.